So the, the Honourable Right Honourable Member for New England. I seek to raise a matter of privilege, Mr Speaker. And the Right Honourable Member may proceed. Mr Privilege, on the Thursday, March the 19th edition of the Sydney Morning Herald, an article by Tom Burton, there was reference made uh, by uh, the writer in an article headed factional dispute over Maclay still unresolved to your own position and in this article Mr Speaker there was a comment at that meeting order will the honourable member get to where he order at that meeting will the, the honourable minister... member get to where he maintains that there is a point of privilege involved happily sir at that meeting I quote order. from the article the Minister for Defence and strong man of the Victorian rights, Senator Ray, is understood to have said Mr Maclay was the worst speaker they had ever had. Mr Speaker, while I understand Order. that under the Parliamentary Privileges Act that uh, there have been changes insofar as they relate to defamatory mm. comments, you will recall that in a, a ruling of your own not so very long ago, on the 9th of October 1990, indeed at uh, page 2421 of Parliamentary Hand Side of this House, you had said, I would be very happy if the House would like to change those rules, that's with respect to uh, the Parliamentary Privileges Act, so that we might bring statements made by the Speaker or other members outside the House into this chamber. Mr Speaker, you'll also know that in the House of Commons, to which our standing orders require us to turn when our own standing orders are inadequate. There have been a number of recent rulings relating to allegations about the impartiality of the chair, and I would suggest that they have real relevance to this allegation by Senator Ray about yourself. Indeed, if you'd like to turn to page 250 of the House of Commons Hansard of the 17th of January 1978, there was a similar matter raised by Mr Anthony Grant in which he refers to a photograph of Mr Speaker of the House of Commons and he says, Mr Speaker, uh, there are a whole series of precedents whereby accusations of partiality on the part of the Speaker have been held to be a contempt of the House. The Speaker considered that particular request, Mr Speaker, and I think it's worthwhile even the honourable members of the Government understanding his response. And I refer them to page 460 of Hansard, the 18th of January 1978, when well, Mr Speaker, that's the House of Commons, responded. Yesterday, the Honourable Member for Harrow Central raised a matter of privilege concerning a caption on the back page Order. of The Guardian, which he claimed implied a reflection on the impartiality of Mr Speaker. I should inform the House, within two hours of the complaint having been made, I received a letter from Mr Peter Preston, editor of The Guardian, giving me an assurance that no such reflection was intended and expressing regret that the caption may have been misconstrued. Now, Mr Speaker, I put to you two questions. First, I believe this is a matter of parliamentary privilege, for you will know that although the provision of section 6 does not mean that a defamatory attack uh, may not be found to be a contempt, but it also means that uh, it can be by reason only that it's defamatory. In other words, that there is reason for the allegation by Senator Ray to raise doubts about your impartiality. And I put to you, sir, two questions, therefore, one that the matter should be referred to the Parliamentary Committee of Privileges, and the other that uh, that failing, that you might take up that admonition that you yourself expressed on the 9th of October 1990, and the whole question of that particular subsection of the Parliamentary Privileges Act should be referred to the Privileges Committee to see whether or not it should be deleted. As I'm sure, Mr Speaker, we all believe Order. any suggestion of partiality on your part would uh, not be capable of being sustained, and we would want to um, have the assurance that members of the government felt the same. And on that basis, Mr Speaker, in spite of the difficulties you may be having in pre-selection, I would suggest to you that those comments really are totally untoward, and Senator Ray should be brought to heel on the basis of having declared you the worst speaker they had ever had. <laughs> Order. I think I'd just say three things to the right honourable member for New England. The first is something I've said to him in the past frequently. He should not believe everything he reads in the Sydney Morning Herald. The second is that, uh, that the right honourable gentleman quite properly referred to section six of the Parliamentary Privileges Act of, of 1987. And as he is well aware, and other members are obviously well aware, 
that statements made outside the House uh, uh, aren't of uh, the same nature that they used to be. And the third thing I'd say to him is that I, uh, the third thing I'd say to him is that I that I don't uh, have any intention of uh, giving precedence to a motion to be moved. The Honourable the Prime Minister. Order. I, I inform the House that the Minister.